Some people say that the internet provides people with a lot of valuable information. Others think access to such information creates problems. Which view do you agree with? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. The internet is surely providing us a lot of valuable information. But for this to be true, a person who is searching for information on the internet must know how to do that in the right way. Evidently, there is a lot of junk on the internet, but for a person who knows how to separate the wheat from the chaff, the internet can be an invaluable source of information. If we look a few years back in the past, when we needed to find a piece of information about an event that has happened a long time ago, the only way to do that was to search through old newspapers. We would have to go to the library and search through the archive. Newspapers were usually archived on a microfilm. There were no keywords by which we could do the search, so we would have to go through the newspaper issues and read nearly every headline in them. This is very time consuming and boring and has deterred many people from doing that. One had to have a really strong reason to search through newspaper archives. Today we can search for old archived news from our home by typing a few keywords and appropriately adjusting search engine we can get what we are looking for in the matter of minutes. If we needed some information for academic research, the only way to find that was to go through books and printed issues of scientific journals. This is also tedious and inconvenient and time consuming. Besides, we may never find the particular book for which we are looking for. When it comes to research papers in scientific journals, finding one you need out of hundreds without a computer and a search engine is unimaginable. A tremendous amount of time can be lost there. Besides, it may turn out that university library does not have all issues of some scientific journals. Then we would have to contact a library at some other university and go through administrative process of borrowing. Or contact a friend at some other university and ask him to make a copy of what we need and send us. Which can also be a problem since there was no internet for easy communication and sending via email. It is true that there is a large amount of dubious information on the internet. A lot of information on the internet is truthless. But what we are going to throw away depends on our experience with the internet. In brief, the internet has made our lives easier. It is saving a lot of our time and it is sparing us from a lot of boring and humdrum activities.